Let's talk about the calculations for the fidget spinner lab. If you're not sure how to do this, go watch my video on it. I showed you how to make it. So here we have the string with a loop on it over the end of the paper clip. It's wrapped around twice. This is going to the edge of your table and it's dropping down. Notice that the string is pulling sideways. You want this to be pretty far from the edge of your table so the string doesn't start pulling down vertically off of the tuna fish can. You want it out here. You have this thing wound up two turns so that when it unwinds two turns, the string will now fall off and this will be free to spin. So in the first part, what do you do? You measure the time for the string to unwind the two turns. At that point, the string falls off. You can use theta equals one half alpha t squared to find alpha. You know that's going to be four pi radians. You watch the video frame by frame and you get that time while it's accelerating. I'm going to make up a number of 1.5 seconds. Go do the math. Calculate alpha. I get 11.2 radians per second squared. Well, now the weight has fallen off and this thing is just spinning. You've reached the maximum angular velocity. So you want to measure the time for the can to complete, say, three turns. Oh, you could do two turns. You could do four turns. Don't do 10 turns, because in that amount of time, this thing's going to start to slow down. So what do we want to find? The omega final. That's the maximum speed reached. So how do we find the final angular velocity? You can say it's theta per time. Well, this is the theta and the time after the weight's fallen off, and we've reached this final, and it's just spinning like this. Now, I didn't do the lab, but I'm going to make up a number that I think is reasonable. 1.3 seconds for it to make three turns. What's the final angular velocity? That's 18.8 .8 radians in 1.3 seconds. That's 14.5 radians per second. Now you find alpha using this information. Well, you can use omega final minus omega initial divided by time. We know the omega final. The omega initial is zero, but what's that time? Is it this time or is it this time? It has to be the time to go from the initial to the final angular velocity. This must be the time while we're accelerating. We're not accelerating out here. So this must be the time we use in this equation to calculate the acceleration. Plugging in the numbers, we get 9.7 radians per second squared. That's the alpha for part one. This is the alpha found using part two. And they should be about the same. It's the same acceleration, just found two different ways.